today is a special day and it celebrates the specials on Ayo and Evo Entertainment. Today we'll be meeting with a very amazing person. He is very energetic, very welcoming, and he is so humble, incredibly humble. I won't say more. Let's get to meet him. Stay tuned. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation to interview you and know more about you. You're welcome. Okay, now let's go straight to the point. For our viewers out there that are so curious to know who you are and a lot of things about you, can you give us a brief history about yourself? Uh, my name is Kenneth Omero. Uh, I'm from Abia State. Mm -hmm. I'm from a family of seven. Uh, we're three, three girls and four boys. I'm um, oh. the third. And um, I grew up in Abuja, uh, the capital of Nigeria, and uh, I'm a Christian. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, that's really good. Now, can you tell us how growing up was like in a Nigerian setting, African setting? How was growing up like for you? Um, for me, it was, it was really good. It was uh, fun. It was tough. And uh, yeah, I learned a lot growing up uh, because my family was, uh, I would say, was the best, and mm -hmm. uh, like I was, I didn't, I, I didn't really lack anything. That's why I'm not having a lot as a as a child growing up. But uh, yeah, the love, the love was enough. Okay. So speaking about growing up, while you were growing up, was your career to pursue football? or it came later on? Uh, actually, I've always uh, wanted to play football. Then it wasn't about making a career out of it, but just for the fun of it. But from when I, I was growing up, you know, it became what I wanted to do. Even when, um, the, uh, even when I go play football, come back, most times I go to school mm -hmm. and I come back without my shirt or without <laughs> my shoes, you know. <laughs> Because when, when you're playing and you have to take off your shirt and after you don't find it <laughs> and you only realize you're not with your shirt when you're home and you, you know, you, you, get, you get dealt with. Wow, okay. Yeah. So you were beaten after coming back from the football game? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing is, uh, each, time, each time we go, we, we play football uh, because of most of the people that didn't really um, make it playing football and they actually gave a lot into it and you know your parents see these things they see these people and you're looking forward to them and you know your parents if they love you they'll always advise you not you to. know not to end up like these people because it's 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 kind of uh, you wasting wasting your whole life you mm -hmm. know thinking it's talent is not really enough you have to be really lucky yeah. you know because i know a lot lots of football players in nigeria that are actually better than me but you need you need god you need you need prayer you need uh, prayer from your family especially your your mom your dad to actually succeed you know and uh, a lot of people don't don't get the opportunity to to travel to to make it out of football so um you're saying that you were both lucky and opportuned and you also had the talent to be able to achieve in this career yes okay thank you very much you're welcome now talking about your football career how were you discovered how was your talent discovered um my, it started uh 2009 uh there was a trials like everyone can come and and play and then i i came with uh it was an academy and we played against uh, on the on the 20 national team mm -hmm. and they picked four of uh, um, eight of us to come to the uh, trials and that was how i went and after that day i was there till the end no oh. okay so now in your whole football career can you like briefly explain your football career so far um first i'll say you know i've been really lucky because uh, I think my career has gone so so fast, and it's not it's it's, it's I will give all glory to God and my family for the support. You know, because 
Um, from 2009 and and now, you know, it's, I've achieved a lot. Okay, well, like, what teams did you play for? What uh, matches did you attend? Um, okay, after the on the on the 17th uh, World Cup, um, I traveled to Belgium, and uh, then I played for. Anderlecht for two months in the reserve team and then I uh, got signed by Standard Liège. But before then I was in Sunshine Stars uh, for a brief section. Mm -hmm. And then I had to play for the national team again in the Under-20 World Cup in Colombia. And that was where Chelsea scouted me. And uh, after that I was sent on loan to Ade Den Haag in, in Holland which I spent uh, almost two years and after I was involved in the 2013 Nations Cup and, uh, the, and Nigeria won it uh, uh, yeah after Big congratulations after for that thank you very much and after that there uh, came the Confederation Cup mm -hmm. and then the World Cup which is the, the biggest yes uh, wow that is a huge football career really anyone that is pursuing football and has this kind of career will be really proud of himself and i'm sure your parents too are very proud of you yeah big congratulations sure, yeah. for that thank you now in your whole football career what has been your greatest challenge uh i would say it's the period where i was injured uh, and had to do a su uh, surgery when was that it wasn't it was it was actually after the confederation cup Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just a few months before the World Cup. What kind of injury was it? It was a shoulder dislocation, and I had to do a keyhole surgery to get it fixed. So that period was really challenging because uh, it gets to a point where you think you you can never go back to how it was before. You think mm -hmm. uh, your hand can never work the same way. You'll be thinking, oh, what if I go? for a challenge and I fall again and dislocate my shoulder, you know, stuff like that gets in your head and um, I thank God, you know, I wasn't under any pressure from family or friends and I was able to go through that period, you know, strong and I did my rehab and after that uh, I, I went to Middlesbrough for a, a half season loan and then to the World Cup. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Now, in football, what position do you play? Uh, I play centre back mm -hmm. and uh, occasionally right back. Okay, and what number do you play for? Like presently, what team are you playing for? I play for Kasim Pasha, uh, Spore in Turkey, Turkish okay. Super League. And what's your number in? Number 22. Number 22, Omero yes. 22. Yes. Okay, now, apart from all the ups and downs in football, like, what is the greatest inspiration that keeps you forward, like, that makes you know that, okay, there's something there that can make you actually better, like, you having, like, an inspiration to do much better in the future, what is that greatest inspiration for you? Um, for me, it's my family because uh, I knew where we were, you know, before I started playing football professionally and I know what state um, we've, we've got to right now, you know, and uh, it's been the favor of God, you know, and uh, I think if it was just me, I don't think uh, I would have this favor, you know, I, I always say it's because of my family, you know, the they are, the, the good heart they have and everything that is just helping me along because if it's just for me uh, I don't think I'll be here you know and uh, I always want to make them happy and uh, I try as much as possible to do that so when you think of your family that's what gives you the strength when you're playing on the um, in the match yeah to it's, push forward uh, no in in a match it's, it's different in a match I always want to win I always want to give my best you know and uh, I've, I watch all the leagues and I see the the level I am and I see the level you know out there and it's always wants to make me work hard you know to achieve 
to achieve the, the, the best and which would be, you know, playing in the Champions League. Okay, talking about working hard, for you to work hard, you need a lot of training before the final games, right? Can you tell us how your training is like? Uh, I train every day and I think I get one day off in a week. Uh, well, it depends on, on your team and on the coach. And uh, yeah, we'll start in Kasim Pasha. We arrive in training at 9, we have breakfast. We train at 11, so you have... Um, what kind of breakfast? I'm curious to know what kind of breakfast. You, uh, have. you have options. You have egg. You have um, uh, pancakes. You have bread. <laughs> you know. And um, what do you take? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes um, egg bread. Sometimes pancake egg. There's always egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's either bread and egg or pancake and egg. And There's egg. always egg. Yes. Okay, what yeah. else do you do in your training? So, um, you have uh, on two hours or an hour and a half to either rest more or walk in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, most times I walk in the gym to you know, get ready for the, for the training at 11. And after that we have lunch and everyone goes on. But a day to the, to the game, we arrive, we train, and then we, we all stay in camp mm. until after the game. Okay, okay, that's good. We've been talking about football, now let's go to the flip side of yourself. When you wake up, what is the first thing you do every morning? Oh, first thing I do is to pray. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's the first thing. Okay. Now, do you have a crush on someone? Nope. You don't have any crush on anybody? Nope. Okay. Now, this is what all the females out there have been waiting to hear. Now, this is the question. Do you have a girlfriend? That smile. It looks like a happy smile. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I have a girlfriend. Okay, who's your girlfriend? Um, I cannot answer the question. Okay. But can we like know how she is like? What are the qualities you see in her that makes you like her? Um, she's, uh... <laughs> okay, she is. Yeah, she's pretty, she's, um, she's humble and she's very respectful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, between... Are you an animal lover? Yes, I am. Okay, between cats and dogs, which one will you choose? Dog. Do you have a dog? Yes. Wow, what is the name of your dog? Uh, Zeus. Do you speak with your dog? Yeah, I do. Frequently? I do. What uh, do you say? <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> what do you say? He's a stubborn one though. Um, yeah, he's, he's cute. Uh, I always say come like the normal words, even, even when he listens. And I don't care if he understands or not. You know? <laughs> Okay, no. But I actually wish dogs can, can speak. Mm. You can actually have a conversation. You can know when what they want, uh, what you can do to make them happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you yeah. love your dog that much. Yeah, I do. I do. What kind of breed? What breed is your it, dog? It's um, a husky. A husky? Yeah. Wow, beautiful eyes. Yeah. Wow, that is great. Okay, welcome back. Now, what is the favorite color of your socks? What, co what color do you love most? Um, black. Black is your favorite color? Yes. Okay. Now, why do you like black? Um, so sometimes I can wear it twice without washing. Yes, boys. <laughs> Character <laughs> to <it's a> boys. <laughs> okay. Now, aside football, what else do you enjoy doing? Um, I enjoy doing, I watch a lot of uh, movies, series, um, I FaceTime call mostly with my brother, my younger brother, Lucky, okay. and um, I play video games and listen to a lot of music, Afrobeat. Wow, nice. Do you like food? No, of course. Typical of every guy. You love your stomach. So what's your favorite Nigerian food? 
Um, I'll say pandediam and uh, okazi soup. Do you know how to pound yam? I know how to pound yam. Very well. <laughs> Very the well. The fluffy one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Wow, that is great. Now, if you are to travel, mention three things that must be with you. Uh, my phone because it's got my bubble in it, so that's like two in one. Okay. Um, my laptop and my passport. <laughs> I thought you were going to forget the passport. <laughs> uh, okay, talking about gadget, can you leave without your phone for 24 hours? 24 hours, yes. Really? Yes. What will you be doing without the phone for 24 hours? I'll be watching a series. Okay. <laughs> okay, can you survive without gadgets? Like, no gadgets at all? I can survive, but it won't be easy. What will you be doing without a life without gadgets? I'll sleep, play football. Okay, without a football too. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually number one, without a football. Without a football? Mm -hmm. And without gadgets? No TV, nothing. Nothing. No internet. No. Um, yeah, I can survive. Okay. Yes. What will you do? Just sleep? I'll cook. Okay. I'll eat. Mm -hmm. I'll cook again. <laughs> I'll eat. <laughs> do you like cooking? Yeah. I do. What do you cook? Uh, almost everything. Yes, so this is a must do on every IO and Evo Entertainment for you to spell the word. So, can you please spell the word league since you're a footballer? League is uh, L E A G U E. Are you sure? I'm sure. How many percent sure are you? I am 99% uh, sure. 99% <laughs> sure. Okay, that was actually correct. Good. Now, a person from Lesotho is called. Um, Mesote. Sure. <laughs> Sixty percent sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, in your life, what matters to you most? Like, what do you value most in your life? My family. Yes. You value your family most because they are always there for you. Yes. Okay. Now, our viewers out there, what do you want them to know about you? Who are you? Like, what, what is your personality? What would you like people to know you for? What would you like people to remember you for in life? Um, right now, I'm trying to, you know, do something at least you know, to at least give back to, to the community. You know, um, I'll be launching a Kenneth Romero Foundation uh, very soon. It already has its Instagram page and the, it's being registered uh, right now. And uh, it's one of the ways I want to try to get people involved and together we can do it. Like it can be organizing something for fun and then, uh, you know, this, this money derived from it can be used to help people. And, you know, the people will actually give without knowing that Actually, they're giving, you know, to, to support something, to support a cause. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm doing this uh, with uh, my friend, uh, the, uh, Freshland is an ambassador of it, Emmanuel. Um, and um, uh, Tega, you know, and some other, other of my uh, friends. And I've got uh, backing from my some of my teammates, uh, you know, and yeah, I think uh, this project will be really good. Okay. Wow, that is a really good um, thing to do, getting the foundation and trying to help people out with the resources you have, and that is a really good one. Really, that is a very huge plus to your side. Congratulations for that. Thank you very much. Now, the season is almost over. It's actually over. Mm. For the next season, what do you look, up, look out for? What are your expectations for the next season? Um, this season has been very good for me personally. I've uh, played so so good. I've uh, improved a lot. I've been happy, you know. And yeah, I I will just go back uh, to Chelsea pre-season and then we'll see what 
for, for me. Okay. Now, for young footballers out there that are looking up to you as their source of inspiration, what can you tell them? What What are the words of inspiration you can tell them for the people watching right now? Um, first of all, I would say um, never do anything without uh, prayer. And, you know, and uh, if you have problem with your family, I would advise you resolve it because I think the family's backing is uh, number one in, in whatever you do. Mm -hmm. And to never give up because I never gave up and just do everything. You don't have to be the most skillful player. There is uh, Ronaldo, there is Messi, the talents are different. When you don't have the skills, you have to put effort. Everyone has the effort. You know, when you cannot, you're not skillful enough, you work hard, you know, and just keep working hard and by the grace of God, uh, you will achieve your goals. Okay. You've heard everything from the horse's mouth. Now, give your shout out to your friends and families. Let's hear you. Shout out to Lucky Omero, my family, the Omero's family, uh, my guys. Yemi and uh, Yemi is a hit, by the way. <laughs> and uh, Chinedu, blessing my goddaughter and uh, Mama blessing as well. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog. <laughs> ah, Zeus, sorry. <laughs> Your dog is angry yes, now. <laughs> and actually, uh, Zeus has a an Instagram page. It's uh, Zeus uh, underscore Omero. Check it out. <laughs> So go and follow his dog on Instagram. The dog is really cute. So you've heard everything from the horse's mouth. It was really a wonderful time spending a time with you and Thank getting you. to know about your life and your experiences and your football career and your personal life. Really, it was really enjoyable. I had a very interesting time with you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now follow him on Instagram at Omero and on Twitter at Omero22. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.